on, fight fans? This is Sean with Box Associates here with Coach Aaron. Coach, you got some big fights tonight, man. Marquez versus Bradley, man. What's your prediction, or how do you see this fight playing out? I think it's a real tight fight. I mean, I, I think either guy can win it, you know? Bradley's the younger, probably should be stronger guy, you know? But he's coming off a really hard fight, with, you know, with the Russian kid, where he took a lot of damage. And, you know, Marquez is coming off a huge win, so, you know, his head's going to be on straight, and he's coming to fight. Ty. Also, you know, I mean, he's looking, he's got a big goal and, you know, trying to be the, the first next to win, you know, a title in five different weight classes, you know, so, I mean, he's got a big motivation. And I think mentally he's really good. So, you know, I think it's anybody's fight. I, you know, I, I'm going to give a slight edge to more kids just because uh, he's such a smart fighter and because of the amount of punishment that, uh, that Bradley took in his last fight, you know. After a fight like that, yeah, after a fight like that, you always want to see what it got time. What a, what a guy, uh, what a guy, guy yeah, sometimes a guy can, you know, work through fights like that. Sometimes those fights ruin a fight, you know, and you, you never really know until they get in, in a real fight again, and he's definitely going to be in one tonight. You know? Well, you know, they said Marquez is one of the greatest uh, counterpunchers. How do you fight a counterpuncher? You know, the way you fight, I mean, you know, you have to use a, a, the feints or really the, the, what I would do with Bradley, and I think what, what I think he's going to do because of his style time. You know, Bradley's never been a big puncher, but he's always been a busy guy. Right. You know, he's always in top shape. Uh -huh. He's got a good chin. Uh -huh. He's always busy, you know, and I think, you know, you get in, uh, try to get in Marquez's chest and just, one thing you always want to do with a good old veteran like that is make him work at a pace he doesn't like to work at, you know? That's how you see those really crafty, good veteran guys like Bernard, guys like that when they do get beat. That's how those guys beat, you know, or, you know, switch time. One more. You know, like when uh, Ricky Hatton beat Costa Zoo. Right. Or, you know, when Calzaghe beat Bernard. You know, those guys, they just, the, the work rate that they had was more than those guys that have been around that long want to keep up. And they were able to outwork, you know, and that kind of outwork that craftiness that those guys got. If you let those guys get out there and set up pace and dictate the tempo and the way the fight's going to go, yeah. they'll take you apart like a surgeon. So I think, you know, to me, Bradley would have to come in time, last one, and uh, and just keep that busy work rate up and just try to make him work, work, you know, maybe in the first six, eight rounds way more than Marquez wants to. Right. You know, and, and you, you know, when you take that space away from him, you take away a lot of that counter, that counter punching ability he has, you know, when you work, you know, out there at a, at a, at a different range, you know, so I, I think that would be his, his best bet. You know, the, you know, like I said, the question with this fight, I think that everybody thinks is that, uh, you know, before, got left? Time. Yeah. You know, before the Pratnikov fight, I think everybody would have thought it was going to, I think Bradley would have been the favorite. Right. You know, uh, now I think, you know, the question with everybody, you know, is, is what's going to happen when he gets hit with some clean shots? You know, how's he going to take them in a real fight? Right. You know, with a guy that, you know, Marquez looks, you know, whatever the work they've been doing down there with him, he looks strong, he looks fast. We know his head's on straight. Like I say, he's coming right. off a huge win. So right. mentally, we know he's good. And and I mean, I you know, and then he's got probably the guy that's the, you know the best trainer in the world. You know, and and and, uh, and, and, a, and a master mm -hmm. of breaking guys down and, and figuring out how to beat a guy. And Nacho, I mean, they're definitely going to have a you know a good game plan. You know, with a good coach behind it is you know always a key in those kind of fights. And he definitely got you know. But not the best, one of the best, and and he's and he's great at executing game plans. Marquez, is, you know, right. he never comes out there just to fight. He comes out and you know if they have a plan, he, he's gonna he's gonna work off of it. And I, I think that's what they're gonna do. I, I like Marquez in, in a in a fight that, that I think is a tough fight for both guys.